So let me tell you a story. Just recently, an old client reached out to me and says, hey, dude, just like that, dude, I got some memory and I got a CPU just lying around that I've had for a while. Do you want it? I'm like, heck yeah, but what is it? Don't try to hook me up with no Core 2 Duos. Got plenty of those. He goes, no, 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 man, I got 12 gigs of a DDR3. I was like, okay, I could always use some DDR3. And I got an i7-2600. I said, for real? I said, how much you want for it? He goes, man, man, just give, just give me 40 bucks. I'm like, I'll give you 20. He said, all right, all right, cool. So I had to go to work. I had, um, I met up with him, gave him the money, and he didn't have it on him. Long story short, I, I've known the guy. I had no reason not to trust him. Well, at least I thought. And he leaves it in my mailbox. Cool deal. Leaves them in these plastic bags, which, okay. I mean, no big deal. He said they did work. He wasn't sure, but whatever. I said, for 20 bucks, I'll, ta I'll take it. And he says, if it doesn't work, then he'll comp me something else, whatever. Cool. So I take the bags, open it up bare hand this and notice i'm wearing gloves guys i'm wearing gloves there's a reason for that hold on it's it pretty good so i take it up i look at it i said oh cool it looks pretty decent and then i don't know how well this gopro camera is going to capture this and i hope it does but if you start looking at it number one that sticker is pretty gross and crusty and if you really start looking at it let's flip it over to this side you're going to start seeing some stuff on here. Some of you guys might know where I'm going with this. And let's see. Let's find the other stick that looks even more beautiful. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, this one's got some good stuff on it. Yeah, like right over there. Cool. And let's see. Where's this one? Oh, yeah. This one's pretty good, too. I mean, looking at it, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it has junk all over it. And I'm like, what the heck? Now, I probably should have saved this part, but of course I freaked out because I'm not into that whole thing. But inside the bag was a dead roach. That's right, a dead roach. This dude had this in a computer and either he has roaches in his house or roach infestation on his computer. I don't know what the deal was, but he freaking gives me memory that was covered and crusted in roach crap. I mean, it's just like all over the place. Um, to include the CPU, and I kind of cleaned this off a little bit because this one actually had a dead roach, but when I got it, it had a dead roach right in there. It still has all the roach doo-doo and poo on it. Yeah, this is pretty gross. So, of course, like any other person, I call him. I said, dude, what in the world? He's like, what are you talking about? I said, dude, there's roach crap all over here. And he goes, yeah, yeah, man, I got a roach problem going on. I said, really? You freaking give me memory that's covered in roaches? So, long story short, he gave me my money back cool dude and after that i probably will not do any computer repairs for him because yeah this is no bueno guys when you're fixing somebody's computers first thing i like to do is before i even bring it into my house or better yet into my garage it sits outside i open it up outside and i make sure there's no signs of roach infestation i have had no joke in my past i've opened up computers and these jokers come flying out like an army yeah pretty bad and then I'm freaking out and I'm having to pay hundreds of dollars just to make sure my house is never infested with roaches so if you're working on somebody's computers unless you know the person open the computer outside and don't do that so now to the point of today's video can we salvage this he claimed it worked from my experiences roaches can cause shorts their fecal matter and all their crap and everything else they do they will short out computers in a heartbeat i can't tell you how many power supplies and motherboards and whatnots that they're fried out because of roach infestations number one when i first started working on computers you're trying to make money build your name you kind of got to take those jobs just to kind of you know make some money and build your name now if i see roaches i'm not saying that i do very well doing computers but if i see roaches i will not take the job but in this case, dead roaches and fecal matter. Let's go ahead, let's clean this up, and let's see if we can save it and kind of show you guys what I like to do. So first things first, wear gloves. Yeah, you don't want that junk on your hand. Yeah. Um, there's one, two ways to do it. I've actually done it with the whole bubble bath method, which a lot of people say that's not the best idea, but I've done that for years and that works great. But considering the severity of this and how gross this is, we're gonna give it a bath with isopropyl alcohol. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move actually the CPU right over here and just kind of focus on the memory. I'm just going to dab one, dab two, dab three. Yep. 
and we're gonna let that kind of soak on there for a few minutes now this will evaporate but it's fine next thing I do I take a toothbrush preferably um, one that's not being used by anybody so I take old retired toothbrushes and we're gonna start doing is we're just gonna start lightly scrubbing on this and the reason why I want to scrub on this is to get all this crap out of here oh my gosh now is this memory savable it can be I have actually brought back worse memory from it will it plug in and work it probably will but here's the thing a lot of the stuff and all this junk with roach stuff is conductive and I have found out that if you plug it in with all this stuff on it it can cause shorts it can fry your motherboards another thing make sure whatever computer you try it on doesn't is not one that you're quite fond of luckily I have one that uh, I'm willing to sacrifice for this type of occasion so just kind of get in here um, you can take the stickers off which maybe we'll do maybe we'll not do but the biggest thing that you want to do is just get all these little electronic components right over here give them a nice little scrub and just break this apart and make this look like it's actually lived in a decent home that wasn't infested with roaches so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna scrub on this and then we'll talk about cleaning it up and sacrifice it to one of my computers I have lying around All right, so after giving it a light scrub, and I can't emphasize this enough, don't go too hard on it because if you go too hard, you could actually pop off these little things or a chip and yeah, ask me how I know. So I'm actually gonna tinker with these stickers a little bit later, but for now, let's, well, maybe I can get this one out. Oh, look, look, I don't know if that comes in. Yeah, that's dead roach guts. So maybe these stickers need to come off. Yep, yeah, focus, focus. Yeah, that's pieces of a roach under that sticker. So um, that's going somewhere and everything like that. So after looking at that, I probably need to take these stickers off and see if we can still get some of this grime off. Yeah, I'm glad I'm taking this off because there's actually more guts underneath these stickers. So let's move that right there. Let's see if we can get this off nice and easy. I think these were four gig sticks, 12 gig sticks. I can't remember. All right, so now let's take some clean towels, kind of push this to the side and I'll show you that in a second. And just kind of wipe them dry them off and everything alcohol does evaporate I always recommend using 91% that is the best but make sure this thing is all evaporated and all that good stuff and wipe it clean looks way better way cleaner now the camera won't focus in but right where my thumb is that kind of looks like something broke I don't know or something might have been shorted. Or maybe it's just more roach juice. All right, so our memory is looking clean, as good as new, actually. Probably 20 times, a million times better than it was before. Got all the junk out, and I had to go back and scrub it again and do it. And another thing I like to do too is um, QD Electronic Cleaner. You can spray it out, and it'll actually blow the gunk underneath all the crap that's you know the chips and all that stuff this works really good I've used that a bunch of times went ahead and cleaned out the CPU which this wasn't as bad so we should be good over there now to show you this guys look look at that water I don't, I don't know if the camera does this justice but look at that look at all that roach feces junk that's nasty yeah so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pop it in a computer see if it works see if we get a screen see if it boots up and take it from there so we got our sacrificial computer up. Um, have a video coming on this one. Either it's out by now or it will be out or whatever. So definitely check this out. So this is the i7-3770K P8Z77WS motherboard. And we're gonna use this to fire it up. So I got one stick already in there and we're gonna just test it one by one. Cause if I put all three in there and nothing boots up then what stick is it? So we got one stick in and this power supply mess over here 
got something going on with this one so stay tuned for this thermal take video and we'll talk about that one so let's go ahead let's power this up all right all right fan spinning up and all right we got prompt and we have four gigs ddr3 1600 great so that one works let's go ahead and let's pop in another one all right here's the other one click click pop our power supply on Ooh, where's the button there we go let's seed it in let's go ahead we got power we're booting up now let's see if we're two for two all right we're looking good four gigs ddr3 1600 all right that's working so let's go ahead and power this off let's throw this third one in oh let's see come on all right let's get you in nice and easy click click come on we can do it there we go click 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 all right and this where's the button where's the button there we go power on i love this about this motherboard it has the power right over here we got power everything's kind of spinning on here we go what do we got Ooh, looks like we got one dead one we got one might have one dead ram chip so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna double check reseat this double clean the contacts one more time and then we'll rule out but not bad so far we're two out of three so uh let me mess with this and i'll come right back so the verdict of this last ram chip module yeah she's not working so i went ahead tried it in different slots recleaned it a few times i put the two other ones in together and it does read up as eight gigs of ddr3 so we're golden and kind of looking at this and taking a look i think a short happened over there the camera doesn't really zoom in so i guess it's the downfall of this gopro but look like something did get shorted out on this one so this one is no good so two out of three ain't bad we got extra um eight gigs of ddr3 which that's good memory to have so final thought let's go ahead and see if the cpu is good if the cpu is still good we still got eight gigs and i7 2600 and we have a score so let me pop that in and let's try it out All right, CPU's in. Let's go ahead and give this thing some power. Flip it on. And let's see. Uh, it's doing a lot of things. Ah, oh, sweet. Check it out. I7, 2600, eight gigs of DDR3 awesome score so what can we take away from this number one roaches suck number two they can cause damage number three you can save hardware that has been infested with roaches water or any type of crud takes a little effort takes a little scrubbing rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush scrub it off real nice and easy wipe it off clean it off that uh electronic cleaner works really good at blowing stuff off and as far as because it has pressure on that chemical that it uses so it kind of gets into the crevices and just cleans things out really good we were able to save two of the three gigs uh two of the 
three sticks of memory we're able to ensure that an i7 2600 works so over and all i initially was going to pay 20 dollars for this but because of the roach thing i guess he kind of felt bad and he said just go ahead and keep it i guess this was stuff that he has lying around so guys gross nasty hardware use caution and use your best judgment most people will run away from it and just stick it away but in this case we have an i7 2600 with 8 gigs of ram and we could probably just pop in like maybe a 1050 ti or a 970 uh i got a bunch of cases lying around and i could probably build a computer and maybe flip something pretty decent as a good fortnite or uh roblox or what's the other one minecraft pc and maybe some other games for about three four hundred dollars so but guys comment down below let me know your thoughts would you have touched this would you have even messed with this and taken the chance or just thrown it in the trash which most normal people would you have done or would you have actually cleaned it yourself i mean in this case we had nothing to lose everything to gain well then again we did take a chance of kind of shorting out that motherboard perfectly good motherboard but in this case we won big so yeah if you like this video definitely hit the like button guys i appreciate you've hit the like button subscribe 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 if you're not and as always We'll see what nasty, crazy stuff we come up with next. Thanks for watching. So real quick, because I know I'm going to get a bunch of questions about this in the comments. Yes, just because it boots up and it just shows you the bio screen and all that good stuff right over there doesn't mean that it works. So I've already cleaned up and we've kind of moved ahead. This is kind of the future a little bit, but I was able to do some stress testing, install Windows, play some games, and everything tested beautiful. The 2600 runs great, the memory is stable, runs fine, so yeah. Just because you plug it in and you get a screen doesn't mean it necessarily works. So you gotta stress test it to make sure that it can handle a load and work great under games. So yeah, definitely a great fix, great find. Thanks.